Now to this Eyewitness News exclusive. He would be the first person to do it for us, so we didn't even think twice about it. After a firefighter passed away, co-workers are making sure his five-year-old niece has the type of birthday he would have given her. As Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane explains, he was in the process of adopting the little girl. Firefighters are known for being tight like a family. No matter what goes on, no matter what happens, we always band together and take care of our own. And here in New Haven, it's no different. I told her, anything we can do ever, just reach out to me. Erica Bogan says George Brown was a childhood friend whom she later reunited with at the Fire Academy 20 years ago. But in April, the 46-year-old, whom was in the process of adopting his young niece after helping raise her since she was an infant, died unexpectedly. That's what George always did. He always showered her with presents, and, you know, he was always, um, a very good dad to her. Bogan tells us Brown's co-parent adopted the little girl to make sure she stayed in the family and she recently reached out to her looking to see if she could get some donations for her birthday. Well, it should come as no surprise the response from the firefighters so overwhelming that they decided to throw her a birthday party here at the station where her uncle worked. Oh, we have a cotton candy machine. Um, we have a face painter. Um, someone is um, actually making and donating coloring books um, for all the kids. Um, and of course, they're going to be able to play with the fire trucks. So it's going to be a good day. Anything to help ease the pain, not just of a little five-year-old, but also for fellow firefighters. To help out George is just terrific on our end because it's definitely something he would do if, if he was still here. Larry Lawler says he and George did 20 years together at fire headquarters on Grand Avenue, becoming great friends. George himself was just a wonderful person, and to do this for his nieces, it makes you feel good. You wish he was here. and. Uh, we miss him very much. We hope to show her um, that no matter what, you know, throughout, you know, her growing up and, you know, going out on her own, that she has a great big family of about 400 firefighters who are absolutely in her corner and ready to help her and have her back. With the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven, Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.